All right, hello and welcome to the weekly gaming quick save show, recorded live at 3 p.m. Pacific time every Friday, right here on twitch.tv slash benreacts. That's me, I'm Ben. Occasionally I will react, mostly I will not do that. This week's show I'm going to be talking about why I stopped kickstarting games and anything else if anyone shows up and says anything to me. No, no, no. Who knows? First, let's take a look at some of the top stories of the week. And the first story, very important. Slow news, slow news, but very important story. I figured out I can make kind of a, a droid BB-8 beeping noise, and so that's what I'm going to do. I, I think it's very accurate, very lifelike, very film, film accurate. All right, here you go. Hold on. I don't do drugs, believe it or not. This is the thing I do, I just make beeping noises sometimes. Why not, right? In the actual video game news, uh, Fire Emblem Fates is coming out soon. And they've censored a little bit of a scene here, and this scene actually caused somewhat of a kerfuffle when it uh, came out in Japan about six or so months ago. It's been out a while. Uh, the scene essentially involves a female party member who is attracted to other women and is having issues with that, as you might, you might, you know, this is the real world. And so your, your player character gives her ma some kind of magic powder which makes her see men as women and women as men. And yeah, that's a little weird. I'll give you that. That's a little weird. Maybe we should kind of rethink that. It sounds very anime to me. That that plot line is is, you know, episode 6 in the middle of a 12 episode season of of, of anime. You know, it's just kind of a filler episode here. Um which is interesting. I think this game was actually written by a acclaimed manga author. So maybe that's why it sounds like an anime. I'm not necessarily a fan when they start editing plotline or dialogue or anything like that. Or, or well, in this case, removing. Um, but I don't necessarily mind when you take things out. Like Xenoblade Chronicles X, they got rid of, or not, they changed, they made the swimsuits um, less revealing for the 15 year old girl. <laughs> or 14, who knows? She was underage. Uh, but it's still a little weird. It's just a swimsuit. It's still a little weird, but I can forgive stuff like I don't really care. I'm not dressing up my characters in swimsuits very often. But when you start editing cutscenes and, and dialogue and character interactions, that's a little iffy. This so far seems light on possible implications, which is good, but it remains to be seen. And this is probably a game I'm never going to play, so I'll never know the answer to if I should be upset or not, which is great. It's a great way to live your life, right? Never know what the hell is going on. In other Nintendo news, they revealed what the Wolf Link Amiibo does in Twilight Princess HD, and it does not unlock a new dungeon. No, no, that'd be that'd be what you want, right? That would be exactly what you want. No, no, it unlocks a bunch of Wolf Link trial rooms, basically, maybe akin to the what is it, the the one in Wind Waker where you fall down the hole and there's like 30 floors, something probably along those lines. Uh, but who knows? And who cares? Because it's not an actual new dungeon. <laughs> but at least they're finally putting in somewhat interesting amiibo support. You can uh, put in Link to restore arrows, Zelda to restore hearts, Ganondorf to make the game harder. You know, enemies do double damage. That's interesting. These are interesting things. Not very important. Not actually that interesting <laughs> when I come down to it. But it's nice to see them doing something on a system that they're abandoning in probably a year. Less than a year, maybe. Maybe a little over a year, depending. On the rumors, which, too many rumors, not going to deal with it. Too much work. That's what I like to say. If it looks like too much work, just don't do it. In other news, uh, the Rock Band 1 set list can be exported into Rock Band 4. This struck me as very interesting news, because how the hell has this not happened before? The Rock Band 4 has been out for a quarter of a year, which is a weird way to measure time. But... This wasn't there, and then I saw this chart, right? So this is this is all the Rock Band games, and all the ones that you can export. Now the Beatles Rock Band is right here. They're not going to allow you to do shit because they're the Beatles. I understand that. This is Rock Band 3. I'm, I'm reading these because you probably can't read the small part. Look at my finger, try to find it. Me, me. So this is Rock Band 3. You can export this already. Great. That's what I'd expect. This is Rock Band Blitz. 
You can export that one already. All of these are no's. These are all no's. So <laughs> Rock Band 1, you can finally do it, but only on PS4 and only in North America. Okay, Rock Band 2, nah. Lego Rock Band, nah. The ACDC one that I'm sure someone bought, no. So th there's all this there's all this stuff, and this was the promise of Rock Band 4, I thought, was let's bring everything together to the new consoles. And it seems like that was the plan, and they're executing this plan over the course of 12 months. And that's kind of ridiculous. Like When I heard this news, I was like, oh, it's, it's finally available Rock Band 1. I'm like, what the fuck? That's a, that's a day one, that's a month one thing. When Rock Band 2 came out, you could do this immediately, basically immediately with Rock Band 1. Same with Rock Band 3. And Rock Band 3 had the weakest set list of all of them, so oh great, I can put that into Rock Band 4. Oh, I love it. And then you have to download all those songs individually. This is, this is I think, indicative of, of bad. And I, I saw this, you know, back in June, when I was looking at this game, I was like, this, this looks like Rock Band 3 stitched up, and they put a 4 on top of it. And, and that's what it seems to be, and it's falling apart. They've had tons of problems, and I don't really understand how. This is the fourth one they've released. They released the first two Guitar Heroes. What the hell are they doing over there? I know, this comes down to song licensing. It always comes down to song licensing. But communication would be nice. This is why I stick with the Guitar Hero Live with its wacky six-button controller. Um, other sad news about rhythm games. I don't think either of those two sold very well. I really, uh, you're, you're starting to see a lot of sales. And yeah. I don't think I don't think the music genre is back. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, big loser nerd idiot who wants rock band and guitar here to live forever. And with that, let's just get into the topics of the week. For one topic.